I'm Michael Sauer, attorney, electrical engineer, and certified in over a thousand things. And I'm Jill Wilson, director of PR. I love telling our clients stories, and we work at Scorpion Internet Marketing. We are so inspired by our clients and their stories that we're traveling across the country to experience a day in the life of their business. And this is Get to Work. Hey everybody, we're here in Detroit, Michigan. D-Town Motor City. To visit Goldfish Swim School. Which I'm so excited about, a swim school for kids that is genius. I'm so excited to meet Chris, Jenny, Andrew. I'm Chris McQuiston. I'm Jenny McQuiston. We are the owners of Goldfish Swim School. Chris and Jenny are married. I'm Andrew McQuiston. I'm one of the owners of Goldfish Swim School Franchising. And Andrew's Chris's brother, so it's kind of a whole family business. So Goldfish Swim School is a premier learn to swim facility, teaching infants and children how to swim and be safer in the water around North America. So swimming has always been my passion. I've done it my entire life. I swam in college. I swam at a high level at Olympic trials and was a NC2A champion at Arizona on a relay. And when I graduated, I had an early childhood degree and I was going to be a preschool teacher. But I started to miss swimming and I started coaching at a local swim team in our area and there was a waiting list for swim lessons. And so I came home one day and I was like, Chris, we could make a business out of this. One of my friends, her parents own swim schools out in California. There was nothing like it in Michigan. And my memory of swim lessons it was kind of a dark, dingy, cold pool, and it was a little scary. And so it was just a big dream we had to teach kids how to swim and be safe in the water, but have fun while doing it. Now, the cool thing is we're going to go and visit their corporate office this morning first. Oh, Hi, guys. Wow. Hey. Welcome. Hey, guys. Hey. Welcome. So Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice Jen. Nice to meet you. So what do you think? This Thank is the you. happiest office. Everything looks so nice. Thank you know, you. with a day like today, it's nice to, to walk into something that has color and brightness. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. The gray outside. I love it. Thank it. you. Well, can we show you around? Yeah. Come on. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Thank you. This is a great space. <laughs> great Thank neat, huh? you. Oh, yeah. So amazing. Thank I'm you. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what you're seeing here. We've got our collaborative space here where we have all the different departments that, that work together. We have space around the facility for private offices, for collaboration. We have about 24 people in training right now. Franchisees are learning all about marketing and how do you market your part of the country. So we really wanted to create an open space here where people, they didn't hide from each other in an office. We wanted right. them to be out, communicate, talk about all the different things that, that we need to collaborate on daily. This space is perfect for all of those things. I'm so happy. Yeah. And what are fun. these little guys? That's Bubbles, to to that. that's our mascot. <laughs> he does some safety talks around town and at schools and he shows up at birthday parties and you know events that we have. And, and then we also How give these away to other kids. Yeah. They're like collector fun. items. Yes. So what are we doing today? We're gonna get you guys in the water and teach you what we do. Oh, sweet. We work with some kids, we have some classes set up. We're gonna learn how to teach the curriculum, how to hold them, um, have a lot of fun, a lot of high fives. Uh, and, I'm, all, uh, I'm all the high fives. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, so. Well, let's right. get started. Let's all right. So this is our oh. Canton location. Oh this my is, wow. gosh. One of 70. And, uh, in the bubble yeah. light. Yeah. So you walk in and it's nothing like any pool you've ever seen for a kid before. There's oranges and blues and so happy. And then around the corner comes bubbles. Bubbles? bubbles Speaking here. of bubbles. Hi, <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi, hey, five. Hi, five. Oh, hi, Finn. Hi, Finn. Oh. Hi, Finn. <laughs> so I have some things set up in some changing rooms for you guys, and I'm gonna get changed. We can meet out on the pool deck. Perfect. Done. All right. Okay. Bye, All right, bubbles. Bye. See you in a bit. See ya. Chilly for the kids. Good. Exactly. Nice and warm for the kids. So good. All right, let's do this. Yes. Oh, that's good. Wow. Good. Oh, 
Oh, it's so like a warm black. <laughs> I like the fan, nice. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, a, it's aerodynamic, uh -huh. is the reason why. I'm gonna say that this bad boy right here, there's a 35 to 90% probability that it's gonna help me or harm me in my aerodynamicness through the water. We're gonna start with a warm up. We are going to get the kids comfortable with you guys. I'll introduce you guys. Um, and we're really just gonna make it fun for them. We give ribbons for when they do things that they, you know, achieve for the first time. So they get excited about that. So we're gonna try and give out some ribbons and high fives. Bone probably wants a ribbon. He <laughs> likes validation. I'm definitely, I'm definitely yeah. eyeing the ribbons over there. I want, I want every single one of those. Yeah. No question. Sure they're they're way or me not. Yeah. But I am a huge fan of high fives. Yes, yeah, so we do a lot of high fives. I expect a lot of high fives today. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun. This is our curriculum right here, I can show you. Um, awesome. This basically spells out everything that we do in the lessons, so the teachers can just follow it, and we've drawn everything in the pictures yeah. for them to see the holds, the skills, and the order that they should go in, so that everybody's doing the right thing at the right time, and throughout the franchise system, everybody's following the same. So who's who made this? Um, I wrote the curriculum myself, and... That's um, awesome. Yeah, so I took my past, and how I learned and some things I've learned in the um, in the meantime and just put it all together. And that's what we do here at Goldfish, so. You guys ready to meet the kids? So ready. So ready. Right. Awesome, let's do it. All right, let's bring them let's in. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Hello, swimmers. Please come join us on a pool deck for your next class. Hi, guys. Come on in. How's it going? I was really just excited to kind of start the class. Our class had four kids in it, aged from four to six. So these are my friends. This is Miss Jill, and this is Mr. Bone, and they're going to help us swim today, okay? And you guys are awesome swimmers, though, right? Mm -hmm. I heard you know us. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to show them how we start off with our big freestyle arms, and we're going to swim to the island, okay? Ready, go! I had two kids, Aiden and Madeline, or Maddie, as she likes to be called, both age five. I used to think that I was a good swimmer. They are way better than I could ever be. They are bound for the Olympics. Write it down. So you're gonna do one hand oh, wow. over like this. I love it. So you take your hands over. Yeah, there you go. I helped Jenny instruct Victoria and Sophia, super cute sisters. I totally understand why Jenny loves teaching these kids and why she turned her love for teaching into a business because it was so rewarding. The kids were so proud of themselves and they're learning skills that are true survival skills. We're not gonna do the big bending kicks like this, right? We're gonna do little splashy kicks like this. Exactly, let's, let's show it. It was really phenomenal. She inspires me to up my game and can inspire everyone to up their game. Can you guys show me your straight lines? Let's throw one more. Oh, that's really good. Let's throw like right here. Yeah! Good job! Three, two, one! So much fun. I mean, they were hugging us by the end. They were climbing all over us. So it was such a blast. And to end the class, and I guess this is customary at Goldfish Swim School, um, they do a little cannonball with kids where the instructors take them in the water and just lift them up and let them drop into a cannonball. And it was so fun. They wanted to keep on doing it over and over. I think if we didn't call it quits, we'd still be doing cannonballs right now. <laughs> At the end of our class, everyone got ribbons, which they loved. Victoria and Sophia, I got two ribbons for you guys. This one's for you. I'm full of pride. I can do the back line. Yay! And this says, let's see, I can dive and get the rings. Yay! Yay! So the two ribbons that I gave out today were for gliding and for treading water. They did so well, I'm so proud of them. So, you guys did amazing. Did you have that fun? That was so much fun. Oh, good. Those kids were 
awesome. Oh, they loved you guys. <laughs> they spam so great for you. You guys did all the holds right. You followed the curriculum. You guys were naturals. I think you're going to make it in the swim lesson industry. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> awesome. Well, I think it'd be fun to have you guys over for a little barbecue. You can meet our kids and um, we can just hang out and have oh. some fun. After a long yeah. day, I think that's exactly what, hopefully some carbs. Yeah, I think that's calories <laughs> following them back right? and forth in the pool. Yeah. I know, it's an active job. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, all right, well, let's let's head back to my All right. House. Okay, cool. Deal. So we got to Chris and Jenny's house today, and it is stunning. I mean, it is just head to toe, beautiful. It literally looked like one of those houses that you would expect to see in one of those magazines. Oh, this place is amazing. Your house. I How love are you? it. Thank you. It was really nice after a real long day of having a blast. They actually invited us back to their house. Hey guys. Oh. Welcome. Welcome to the backyard. Oh man, this smells so good. Chris and Jenny and Andrew went above and beyond today and being hospitable to us, and I think that's just how they do everything in life. Would you like a glass of wine? Uh, yeah. Okay. That great. Perfect. We're doing chicken. We just do a little rotation here, so then we'll get some veggies and stuff on uh, later on. They don't make them this big in California, let that's me tell right. you. Midwest. Big here in Midwest. <laughs> There's something just about the Midwest, and this is where my family's so from, and this is where Chris and I grew up. We actually met in high school. We were high school sweethearts. Aww. So we had been dating since we were 16. So yeah. it was good to come back, and we got yeah. married the year after college. So 2003, we got married. Aww. In 2006, we started Goldfish, so. Wow, <laughs> kind so of you're a 26. Yes. And then Andrew, he came back and really got ready for our first franchise to open up in 2009. The cool part about the story is that when we started, we really had no idea what we were doing. Right, so we were making. You didn't know what you didn't know. We were networking. We're calling the founder of Wahoo's Fish Tacos and just saying, "Hey, I don't. We're franchising. What do we do? Help, Help me, out, me here. out here. Help me out here. Just tell me what's the first thing. What's the one thing to do?" He basically said, "We are stopping our franchising yeah. right now. The economy's not very good. We're not doing anything." Right. So of course we look at each other and go on. Are we doing the right thing here? Right, right. And I moved back from Southern California to Detroit in the midst of the worst economy, and everybody was like, "Hey, good job moving back to Detroit." <laughs> so real promising start. It's been the best day. Thank you guys so much for having us over. It's been an awesome, awesome experience. This Hang whole day, day has been amazing. Oh, so, so much we loved it. You. Thank you guys for coming in. Yes. Yeah. Would you guys want to come back to Scorpion Studios in Valencia and come visit us in our domain there? Yeah. Let's do it. I say we do it. it. Yeah. All right. Let's All cheers, right. everybody. Cheers. cheers. Excited to be here. How about a group hug? Oh, oh, oh yes. Together again. This is your goldfish set. Wow. This is spot this on. Is so this cool. is so cool. Amazing. Oh So you guys have such great branding, and Bubbles is so adorable. Was that always your original idea for the swim school? We were going to name it the McQuiston Family Swim School. Um, it just rolls right off the tongue. It just, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Everybody can pronounce it. They yeah. can spell it. They have no clue. Yes. So. How many vowels are in that? I mean, yeah. too many. <laughs> like, yeah. Seven. Nobody says it right. So we started going down the line of like different fish or different ideas, and I think we were on an airplane, and we like made a list of names, and, um, and I'm like, oh, goldfish swim school, and it just yeah. kind of. It's Works. something kids can relate to. It's easy to say. We could brand it with a nice orange color. So uh, we settled on, on goldfish. As you can see, we've been able to use goldfish, bubbles, now our new mascot, and a bunch of different lines of our business to appeal to kids and, and use it for branding. Now, what are your positions at goldfish? So I'm the, the visionary or the CEO. And I am in charge of curriculum and all things curriculum and now philanthropic, um, you know, things that we're getting into as well, so. She's yeah. the boss lady. Yeah. She's the boss. She's the, boss. <laughs> she's the, yes, she's she the end all be all. And then I'm the president of the company or the, also known as the integrator. Work with leadership team. So what's it like working together as a family? Are you the, the tiebreaker for things, Jenny? Or how does that work working with two Jenny's brothers? not the tiebreaker, Jenny yeah. wins. Always. <laughs> Always, boss lady. What, what do you want the answer to be? Okay, that's, that's Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, yeah. what's the answer? <laughs> I think, I mean, it's funny. I think it does work because we all have our own unique purpose and personalities in the business. And so we know our roles and we try to stick to them. And of course we get into, you know, things sometimes, but um, I leave that for the brothers and then I step in and <laughs> speak Enough up. bickering. Exactly. Let me just decide for yeah, you guys. Exactly. No, it's amazing. 
amazing. From a trust perspective, we trust each other, you know, without question. So I think as we defined over the course of the years, my role, Jenny's role, Andrew's role, we said, you know, you have to live in that space and we have to trust that you're doing the right thing. And yep. if not, you know, we'll, we'll check each other and make sure that we question, are we doing the right thing? Are you making the right decision? But, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're going to be supportive and, and it, we love it because we get to do stuff and come out and see you guys together and yeah. you know, get some time away to, to really either talk business or just relax and, and be, a, be a family together. What is the age group of, of children that can come and actually use the Goldfish Swim School? Four months to 12 years of age. But the majority of our kids that are swimming with, with us are going to be four months to about seven years of age uh, because we feel, and, and you know, kudos to the teams that, that teach these kids, is our kids age out at a younger um, age group. So they actually finished the program that they early. program, mm -hmm. yeah, early. That's actually like a great statistic to be proud of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what we yeah. tell our franchisees too is, you know, it, I know that they're going to pay money month to month, but the goal is not to keep them as long as possible because parents will catch on to that. They're smart. Mm -hmm. Is the faster you can get them through the program, they'll start to tell everybody else. My child learned so quickly and so well. Go there. That's going to be great word of mouth marketing for us. It's great that just by having a, a swim school that kids want to go to, it really is actually helping the community. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. Drowning is the leading cause of unintentional death for children five and under, and the second leading cause for 10 and under. So it's a real wow. issue and it's scary. And so that really became a passion of ours, you know, going forward once we learned the stats. And um, and so we've really focused on safety skills and all those things, you know, how to climb in and out of a pool, how to roll on your back for a breath and just the important skills. But then we mix that in with fun and bubbles and colors and all so those things. So it doesn't get too dark. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah. But safety really is a big reason why we're doing what we're doing and we do believe that we're saving lives, so. I'd say it's the foundation of swim safety, but then also the give back and employing people and being good stewards for our communities where we're sponsoring activities at school or we're giving back in various ways where we either donate our time or donate money or whatever it may be. So we try to, to weave this to be something where it's good in a couple different lines. Right. So it's not just focused on kind of the me element of a for-profit business. We want to just give back to everybody who's been supportive of us as well. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. yeah that's the absolute important. foundation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And how has becoming uh, parents changed your perspective on your business? Oh my gosh, For all huge. of you. Yeah, I mean, we didn't I think every have policy kids. changed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we mentioned before we didn't have kids when we first opened this. And so I would get a call sometimes from a parent being like, my, my son fell asleep in the car, we're going to miss our lesson. And I was like, wake him up. Like, just, yeah. I mean, you're here. They're, they'd be in the parking lot. And I never understood that. And now I'm like, no, you never wake a sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Give yeah. them as many makeups as they want. Yeah, so I mean, it's funny. We definitely have changed some policies. We've, like, I would say lessened the rules because. There's enough challenges as a parent's life, you know, it gets so crazy and I think it's just made us understand more and we we're try and- more patient and compassionate, compassionate. Yeah. you know. The end goal is to get that child in the pool to teach them how to swim, not go around and around with parents on all of our policies on, yeah. you know, <laughs> why you didn't show up or why didn't you call us ahead of time or, you know, there's obviously perpetual abusers of those types of policies, but at the end of the day, the goal is to get the child in the water. What I was going to say too, I think the bar is set so high with these huge companies like Amazon these days and the mm -hmm. expectations for business in general are on everybody. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to raise the bar for our franchisees and for us as a brand, so that the culture is that we're always getting in front of the parents and our customer service has to be on point. Mm -hmm. You know, our swim lessons and quality has to be on point. Parents are expecting these things because they're getting shipping in two days and all these other things. So, you know, we're trying to supersede what our competitors are doing on a daily basis. So it's really important that we're meeting and exceeding those expectations. What got you into thinking into franchising Goldfish? Well, we didn't think franchising right away, so we opened up our own location. Two years down the road, after countless people came in and asked if it was a franchise, we were approached by a friend who swam with Jenny growing up, said we love this business, we're selling out of our own business, want to get into something that we have a passion for. So we ended up talking and, and said, hey, listen, the partnership route may not work because we wanted to still have, we had built something that we wanted to have at least the control over the, the curriculum and the branding elements and said, if we get legal to franchise, would you be our first franchisee? So once that kicked off, we went through the producing the franchise agreement. We had called Andrew and said, hey, we've got this new business. And you know, he ended up coming back on board very shortly thereafter to help build the foundation to start franchising. So we started slow. We had a location and then the second location was, I think a year, maybe a year years and a half after. later. Yeah. And then, you know, it's one of those where I think if we had opened up with 10 or 15 or 20, we would have made so many more mistakes and yeah. it just wouldn't have been, and it was still, tough to open up in a, a down economy and it was going down even further than yeah. when we opened up. But parents saw a need for what we were providing. They would they would pull back on their own personal expenses than, than paying for their kids to learn how to swim and you know potentially survive a, a bad accident. 
During those first couple of years, we were opening three to five schools a year. Oh, and wow. Today, where we sit with the 36 employees back at the home office, we're opening around 30 schools a year. So we're That's really excited. Amazing. About that. Yeah. Almost yeah. every other week. Or it is every yeah. week. Yeah. Every week. yeah. Yeah. So we've, they tend we've, to all fall on like the same week. Yeah. We yeah. The <laughs> we open up the same time. Yeah. But, you know, back in the beginning, we didn't have the resources and team to develop the schools that we do at, at the rate we do today. So we've got a great support team from operations. Um, technology from a curriculum perspective, from a marketing perspective, so that we can open up these schools around the country um, and do it really successfully. And how many locations of Goldfish do you currently have? Today we have over 70 locations around the country. Congratulations. Wow. Thank, you. Thank you. We're experiencing today about 40% growth year over year. Wow. Um, from location you know, perspective uh, and just enrollment growth at our locations as well, which we're really excited about. I think our big target in 2024 is gonna be 260 locations open and operating in North America. So we've got a good start here in the U.S. We have a school that we opened up in Canada about a year ago in Ontario. Wow. And so they have a development agreement to open up seven more locations. So and I think where we're at right now at 36 employees, we'll probably be in the mid 40s, if not 50. You know, I think that also looks like regional employees working in market or there's clusters of schools so we can ease, more easily support our locations and, you know, different kind of business strategies that will help us get to our franchisees quicker so we can offer that support that we, you know, we provide for them. Over the time that you've opened up Goldfish, what are some of the challenges or opportunities that you've had that you've been able to overcome? Well, I think a lot, and we can kind of chime in a little bit, is the, the acquiring of a franchisee. And so how do you go through the process of bringing somebody in that's going to match up to your core values and operate like you you operate your own school and right. care about it like you do. Especially when you're removed and they're in exactly. another state. Mm -hmm. So we were fortunate a lot of our early franchisees were local so we could spend a lot of time at their locations and oversee yep. it and be a part of it. This year will be the first year that we, we will consider putting a monthly budget together to go try to acquire franchisees. Got it. So as we continue to grow and want to open up 30 plus locations annually, we need to grow a little bit faster by going outside of the network that we've already built. Well, thank you guys so much for coming out to LA and spending time with us in Michigan. It was so rewarding to train the kids and be a part of your program and be offered into your home. It was really nice of you guys. Well, it's thank nice you. that you thank guys you. consider having us a part of the program. We enjoyed it, loved it, and glad we got a chance to do it with you. As a thank you, we wanted to give you a little gift from us. It's a little uh, thing that we do for all of our Get to Work guests on the show. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Do you just want to pass them down? So on this blue paper here is a scorpion pen. We customize yours to a goldfish color. Thank you. That's so cool. So these are, normally they're one of a kind, but since we have three owners, they're three of a kind. I love it. Thank you. And then this is a little bit, because you're with children so much, this is more of the adult bubble This is something we need? Yeah. Adult bubble. Bubbly. Thank you. This well, we're gonna have to celebrate. Nice. Well, yeah, yeah, thank you so much. This has been the most rewarding episode. I'm not a parent, I don't have any kids, but just the ability to be able to give back has just been phenomenal. Oh, and it's cool awesome. to see you guys do that. And thank the fact you. that you care so much. Well, we you. love you guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Love you. Love you guys we too, and, too, and we appreciate what you guys have done. Cheers, everybody. Thank you guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.